Hi, my name is uh, Mass and I'm from uh, Flowhow. In this video, I want to show you how to uh, optimize uh, clamping force in injection molding by uh, using a Moldex 3D uh, injection molding simulation. I've uh, made a m model here. Uh, it's a two cavity model with a, a part here that is approximately 300 millimeters long and 100 millimeters wide. And uh, I've used symmetry, so um, I only uh, need to calculate on one uh, cavity. The clamping force uh, needed for closing a mold in injection molding is an effect of the pressure in the cavity, both in the filling stage, but also, but more normal in the packing stage. And uh, the machine's clamping force is trying to close the mold, keep the mold closed so you don't get flash or the wall thickness uh, uh, in the parting directions are um, increased or gets bigger than expected. I made uh, this model and um, I made three different runs, one with a 700 bar one with a 500 bar and one with a prof profile packing. The goal is to uh, reach uh, 350 ton for these uh, two cavities. It's You only see the one, but uh, it is two cavities. So um, what I'm doing first is um, I'm investigating uh, uh, in the packing. I investigate the um, the clamping force. So I go to the clamping force for the 700 bar and look at the results and I compare it already with the one that I made with 500 bar packing pressure. And oops, this one over here. So now we see I have a 700 bar. Uh, if I open the process, you can see it here how it's profiled. This is uh, the 500 uh, bar, 50 megapascal for six seconds. And uh, this one uh, giving us a clamping force value is with 700 bar. And it's giving us a clamping force uh, approximately uh, 475 ton. So uh, to be able to reduce this, we can see that we need to uh, look at the packing uh, phase because the filling is until here and we don't exceed the 350 ton here. So in the packing, we need we can do it uh, by just uh, decreasing the uh, packing pressure then we get you can see uh, 350 ton um, if we decrease it to a 500 bar but uh, the effect of decreasing the packing pressure is of course the shrinkage that you will change that so um, if I look at the shrinkage here, I can see I have measured uh, the length and I have a total shrinkage of 1.1 uh, with the 700 bar. And if I just decrease it to 500 bar, then I'm within uh, limits of uh, clamping force of the machine. But um, a result of that is um, I get a higher shrinkage because the packing pressure is uh, is lower. So then I have a 1.45. It's a increase of 0.35 percentage shrinkage by changing the packing pressure. So um, by profiling uh, the packing pressure taking away the peak that you saw before in the clamping force can re 
it, it, it by profiling we can reduce that. So um, I tried to profile the packing pressure. So now I get a linear shrinkage 0 0.1, 1.2, only 0 0.1 of a percentage difference from the 700 bar. And um, I made this profile where I uh, have run the first half second or 0.4 second. I have 500 bar, so I don't exceed the 350 ton. And then I uh, increase the packing pressure from 500 to 700 bar and keeps it uh, for the, the last five seconds. So uh, the first second is only the one that I profile, the rest is the same. That's also why that the shrinkage is nearly the same. But actually doing this has a huge influence on the uh, clamping force. So if I go to the history curve again and look at the clamping force, I can take the 700 bar clamping force packing clamping force over and then I can take the 900 uh, sorry the profile packing and look at the clamping force again over here close and I can see now this was the peak that I wanted to reduce and by having just the start of the of the packing with a lower packing uh, pressure, then I can reduce the climbing force dramatically. So uh, now I'm in within 348 uh, and uh, below 350 ton in climbing force just by doing this, and I don't really change. Uh, anything in the uh, in the shrinkage. Of course, it has some influence on it, but uh, in many cases, if you do a bit like this, you can uh, decrease the packing pressure. Sorry, the clamping force. But this, of course, is um, a result of how how is the part and how is the runner system and what is the process which material and so on so uh, simulation is a really good tool to be able to save money on uh, machine size